Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel Go Dynamic IT. If you want to get rid of the new Outlook which been uh, pushed out to all this uh, Outlook uh, users, you know it's been a chaos in the market. Like everyone is asking that how to get get rid of this new Outlook. Why? Because people are used to with the old Outlook. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get rid of this uh, new Outlook. Just toggling that window. Or another way, if you want to permanently fix that, I'll show you how you can go to the registry and edit those registry file and get rid of rid out of it. So let's get into the video and and fix that. So before that, you know, uh, one of my family friend he called me and he said that uh, there is a uh, I mean when he he's having multiple accounts in the Outlook, and when he tries to uh, to look into that, he said the one profile it's working other profile is not working but i said just show me because i de already disable it one of the profile and he said no it's other profile it already showing me to it to me so i just went to do this uh, control plane mails and i said okay i said like okay let me log into the other account and show me where it's happening right so you can see here it has been disabled here also so the moment because this is the outlook feature right this is not your email feature your exchange feature so, um, so the other way is to do that through the registry. So um, you can go to the run, right click on the start button or you can press Windows plus R and go to the run window. And, and once you get this registry editor, what you need to do is you need to click on that. You can see this uh, computer is already selected. So all you need to do is just click on the HKE current, u uh, current underscore user. So once you go there in, in the uh, current uh, user. So you need to select for a software. So you can see I have selected the software here and inside the software, you need to find it out the Microsoft. So these are sorted with the alphabetical numbers like A starting from A, B, C and, uh, and so on and so forth. So just go through that because it will take some time because there's lots of lots. If you have more number of application, there's lots of lots of list in that, right? So you can see here I'm in the Microsoft and then I need to look for Office. So same thing, you have to start from ABC and go to um, the Office. So go to the O and then you find this uh, Office here somewhere, right? So I'm just trying to find where this uh, Office is uh, you know, located. I just found that this is the Office. And you can see I have a version 15 and 16. So don't do that because this is a pretty old uh, system. I mean, pretty old Windows operating system. So we have this older version of uh, Outlook and uh, newer version of Outlook also. So newer version of Outlook will be always the 16. So in that, you need to find it out this uh, Outlook, right? So once you find this Outlook, you have to expand that arrow. So once you expand that arrow, that will uh, take you to the preference. So you can see there are lots of, of options there. So inside, out of all, all of these options you have to go to the preferences so just find this preferences again you have to go to uh, alphabetical uh, these things so go to this uh, preference don't go with this uh, new outlook because this is already uh, given here so just go to the preferences so once you inside the preferences now you uh, come down and select I mean come down means that you need to go to the blank space or you can connect uh, I mean right click anywhere in this uh, right side side window you can see all these D words reg underscore D words and all so right click somewhere and uh, once you right click on that click on the new and select this D word reg key D word reg right and just inside that just uh, type the name called use new outlook uh, just write it down how we have given here and change this uh, edit in and change the D word and once you change the D word just click uh, just use this uh, zero that's it don't you change anything else and once you're done that's done done means done both your settings are done so the first way to you toggle out there is a new outlook when you open the outlook and then the second way is registry doing going with the registry, so registry is the permanent permanent solution so once you edit the registry view, done. So just close this uh, reg editor. And once you close this reg editor, you can go back to your uh, Outlook again and uh, check whether you are getting this option or not, right? So that's it for today's video, guys. See you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching.